So what is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John City 4 and hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be talking about the Call of Duty 4 Remaster. Now it's 100% confirmed at this point and I was going to talk about it yesterday but I was like learning a lot of news along the way because I still got to talk about Battlefield 5 and some other bullshit, the reveals, more stuff about the commercial. Like it's a lot of things man, I'm way behind it and I know that but uh, and I'm, I'm trying to cover as much as possible but today I got a topic and tomorrow I'll I'll pretty much show you guys more of the trailer and we're gonna break it down even more than we just did on the first day which got me like around 400 views so um anyways today's topic is about call of duty 4 remaster and i believe it's gonna be an epic fail on release day you see do you guys think that activision is that dumb i think they're gonna mess around with the servers in call of duty 4 and they're gonna break them on purpose you see in Halo, if you go over to the Xbox One, what happened when they remastered Halo 2, Halo 3, all to Xbox One? None of the servers worked. And I believe they're gonna pull the same bullshit just for fun. Because they know they're not gonna get anybody in Infinite Warfare and in order for them to for that to happen, they gotta break Call of Duty 4. You see, that's where how they're gonna get your money. And you know, I'm just trying to warn you guys. They are gonna fuck up and they've done it before and seeing how they are already i mean if you guys look back in the trailer i'm gonna point out something very specific and i'm gonna tell you guys why they don't care about you after that so uh if you guys can't wait for that video tomorrow right now subscribe because it's gonna be a very exposing thing i'm about to do tomorrow uh so anyways so yeah like i think the servers are gonna be broken I don't think they're gonna upgrade that. That's the only thing they're they're gonna forget to upgrade. They upgrade the graphics, they remaster it or whatever. But when it comes down to the servers online, do you think they're gonna be stable? Do you think they're gonna have dedicated servers? I don't think so. Because if you think about it, in Modern Warfare 3 and also Call of Duty Ghost, the servers were shit. You see, I did great in Modern Warfare 3. I fucking was I was in a clan. We we're ranked in the top freaking 80 in the whole world or whatever. And you know the game was laggy as fuck like around 60 percent of the time there was no dedicated servers it was lag fest 24 7 in that game and that's how i mostly remember that game from like yes i did good i fucking accomplished a lot of shit that's how i started youtube but um at the same time I'm, i'll tell you guys something like i played through the lag amazingly i don't know how the fuck i pulled it off in that game and then call of duty ghost which is another game made by infinity ward um I was delayed by 1.8 seconds online. I fucking suck in that game, but I'm surprised that I got a lot of views in my videos. So that was one surprising factor. But you know, my real case is that uh, I was delayed by 1.8 seconds, and that's why I'm so good in Black Ops 3 because I'm worried about being delayed by 1.8 seconds. So, um, so yeah, man. If they didn't have dedicated servers in their previous two games which is Modern Warfare 3, which was made by Sledgehammer Games slash Infinity Ward. But I heard that mostly the multiplayer was made by, I think, Infinity Ward or something. I don't know what the whole people, what kind of stories they're fucking into, but like I heard that the multiplayer side, it was Infinity Ward. And the Call of Duty Ghost game, that was Infinity Ward. So, if you think about it, they have been going down on the slope. They haven't been doing good on dedicated servers. They're not going to bring it then. They're not going to bring dedicated servers. If you think they fucked up on those two games, imagine in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Because I already saw one fuck up thing in the trailer. And I'll point it out tomorrow. And it's going to be something to really look at, guys. Because it's just, at this point, it's obvious. They're just money hungry. So, I just wanted to make this video because I wanted to like tell you guys to be aware of what you're going to pre-order. And what to buy or not. And I'm going to tell you guys this. Do not buy infinite warfare right now think about it twice save up that money buy your goddamn prom picture you buy your goddamn fucking car or whatever save up 80 bucks i'm not sure how much you're gonna spend guys because you know you gotta buy the call of duty 4 game separate you gotta buy the freaking you know call of duty infinite warfare along with it if you guys want to get a call of duty 4 and shit like and then you want to get the dlc for a freaking infinite warfare all that's gonna cost you 120 bucks they're not gonna separate it at all so that's something that really sucks so um, so yeah, I just wanted to raise awareness about this whole situation, guys. Be aware of what they're trying to sell you. Because at this point, they're going to fuck you up. They're going to fuck you over with this whole situation. So that is it, guys. I want to talk about if you guys agree with me or not. Leave in the comment section. Leave your opinions also. I'll read them later. So I'll see you guys later. And subscribe for more Call of Duty Infinite Warfare news.